What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my updated makeup routine. I've changed a lot, which is impressive coming from someone who has literally used like the same products for the past five years. But yeah, I feel like I have changed pretty much everything about my day-to-day -day makeup routine and I'm really liking it. It's like dewy, glossy, glowy, easy, very easy. This whole look probably takes me around about five to 10 minutes to do in the morning. I've done it in the car as a passenger. I'm not that skilled or dangerous. And yeah, you guys have been asking me recently about what I've been wearing on my face, so today I'm gonna tell you. So yeah, if you guys wanna hear all about the products I've been loving and using lately, please stay tuned. Okay, step number one, iced coffee. The most important step, if you watch my vlogs, you'll know my recent obsession with iced coffee. Is there like a, can I go to like an iced coffee anonymous or something? Can we make that a thing? So before we get into the makeup, I wanna let you guys know that once again, this portion of the video is sponsored by Foreo. You guys know I have loved their products for so long. Years, way before I started working with them, which is why I'm always so excited to work with them. And yes, I use these products all of the time. Today, I'm mostly gonna be talking about the UFO 2. You guys may have heard me talk about that before. So like I was saying before, this makeup look is a little, little bit more natural. Still a lot, but natural. My version of natural. And so before I get into the makeup, I always like to make sure that my skin is prepped. I literally do this every single morning. I've got Ollie doing it. First of all, I go my Luna 3. And I'll just quickly cleanse in the shower with the microphone cleanser. It's a bit wet because it's come out of my shower. But yeah, this takes around about a minute. It pulsates. It's really good at exfoliating your skin and obviously cleansing it as well. Feels nice in the morning, wakes my face up. And then if you've seen any of my videos, you'll know my love for this strange little thing, the UFO 2. I honestly love this thing so, so much. I use it all the time. I'm always running into Ollie's office like, please try this thing out. And he never does. I will get him one day. So if you've not heard me talk about the UFO 2 before, it is essentially an at-home facial treatment. This guy here is basically your local salon all in one. It combines LED light therapy, T-sonic pulsations, it uses cryotherapy, it heats up, cools down. I always like to use it with the Ferreo mask, which I'll show you guys in a second, but you can also just use it with your regular skincare, serums, sheet masks. It'll really help to kind of penetrate the skin deeper. I've never really come across a product like it, and at first I genuinely was skeptical. I'd seen a few people talk about them and I was like, you know, why do I need it? I must have used this for the best part of the year. I've been using it really, really regularly over the past few months. And a lot of you have noticed, I am gonna do an updated skincare routine soon, but my skin is the clearest that it's been in God knows how long. I say that as I have a spot that literally just appeared on my chin this morning. It's like it knew I was gonna film this video. But yeah, I'll make sure to insert a little before and after of how my skin used to look before I use this and then also how it's looking now. So I'm gonna go in with the cannabis seed oil mask. So this is what the mask looked like. They're essentially teeny tiny little sheet masks. One of my favorites is the Bulgarian rose one, but I thought I'd use this one because it's quite calming. So this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna take off the little UFO ring and pop that right on top there and then pop the little ring back on just so it's all secure. And I cannot stress these enough. You will have enough product in the sachet to do this a couple of times. Like I go all out. So then I'm just gonna open up my Ferreo app. You can do this manually. You can just press the button and it'll turn on. So it's just connecting at the moment. And I'm gonna choose the mask that I wanna use, which like I said today is the cannabis seed oil one. So I'm gonna start that. And then it literally talks you through the entire treatment. So now it's actually gone green, which means it's using the cryotherapy, which is like cooling. And it explains the steps the whole way through. So it says green LED light helps to even out skin tone and low level T-sonic pulsations prep skin to absorb the full benefits of the mask essence. Science. But yeah, LED light therapy can treat everything from fine lines, acne, it can help uneven skin tone. So now you can probably see it's got the blue light on and this says it locks in powerful antioxidants. And we're done. And then like I said, I like to use these multiple times, but just to save you today, I'm just gonna use it the once. So I then just massage all that into my skin. And I'd probably say I do this, it's not always before my makeup routine, but I probably use this around about three or four times a week. So I'm just gonna Massage that into my skin. I think probably my favorite thing about this is that it instantly makes your skin look glowy. Like, you know that post-facial glow that you get when you go to an actual salon? You get it with this and you get it within like a minute or two. But like, I've literally got glass skin right now. So yeah, I love this thing. I honestly believe it is worth the hype. That's why I do work with Freya so often because I literally want to shout about this from the high heavens because I love it so much. So if you guys want to check it out, 
or the Luna 3 or any of the other Freya products, link down below. So now I need another sip of my coffee, another very important step, initiating headband. All right, so now my skin is nice and hydrated, let's do the makeup. So you know how I always used to say that I always do my base makeup before my brows and I never like to do my brows before anything else? That's changed. Yeah, that has completely changed. I also don't fill in my brows anymore. I don't really need to, they're kind of enough as they are. And some of you will have seen on my recent testing TikTok makeup video, that was a mouthful. This guy here that I fell in love with, the ABH Brow Freeze, honestly, I have used this pretty much every day since I tried it. It's so honestly worth the hype. So I just take some of that on my spoolie and I basically just coat my brows in this stuff and brush them up. I like fully go hard with them at first and make them look a little bit terrifying but it's like the most satisfying thing. I am just, I'm so into big brows. I've been downplaying them for too long. I know some of you are like downplaying, but this is, my eyebrows time to shine is now. But yeah, I just brush them through. I really like this stuff because I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't dry down too quickly. So I've got time to fully make my brows do what I want them to do. I like them to look a little bit werewolfy but just airing on the edge of why do her eyebrows look like that? That's like kind of the thing I want to go for. Look, I'm growing in a little bit of my eyebrow there. We're getting there guys, we're getting there. But yeah, you do have time to play around with this, which is good. And to be honest, it doesn't fully freeze them down completely, but it does stop them from moving, but you can move them throughout the day, do you know? Yeah, that'll do for now. And then all I do is I just slick them down a bit with my fingers to make sure there's no residue and to make sure everything's sort of stuck down. They're crazy and I love it. And I know I said I don't fill them in. On this occasion right now, I will fill in this tiny gap because like I said, I am growing it in at the moment. But that's the only bit I really fill in is just this one little gap here. And I'm just using my Huda Beauty brow pencil. Just fill in like one tiny little gap that I have at the front there, like so. And I always change things up with my brow pencils. The one that I've been using a lot at the moment, I picked this one out because it's one of my favorites, but I've also, oh God, really been loving the Oh Hey Brow from Misguided. I really, really like this. I've been using this so often. So now for my base, I actually haven't been using foundation. I've just been using concealer and I actually haven't been using my Bye Bye Under Eye. Still the best concealer ever. Don't get me wrong, but right now I'm just like in a little bit less coverage. I don't know what's going on with me. But yeah, as you all know, one of my favorite concealers of all time is the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm gonna go in with the shade, I have Medium Honey, and then I'm gonna go in with Medium as well. And I'm also gonna be using my Iconic London Stick. This is one of their pigment sticks, it's in the shade four. Cause right now I'm kind of matching the rest of my body quite well, but I do just like to bronze myself up a bit. So basically what I do with this is I do a bit under my eye there and there, and I just kind of go along my jawline as well. Cause I usually have a couple of scars or spots and just kind of dot it around in a few areas down my nose and i'm going to blend that out using my weird little triangle brush from sigma and i'm just doing like a half and half to show you guys the difference because it does just look quite skin like but like damn you got perfect skin sort of skin and because my skin's so moisturized as well it just blends out really really nicely and because this color is quite a good match for my skin at the moment i don't really need to worry about my brows or anything I just go around them, go on my lid. Literally it's so quick and easy. Like I said, I will fully just do this in the car and just slap it on. So I just like to basically press that into my skin. And you can see it's just, it doesn't look like too much. Like some people probably look at my skin and not really think I had any makeup on, but I do. But yeah, I literally love this on its own so much. Like when I actually first did this, like I said, I was just in a rush and I came in and one of the first things Ollie said was, you're looking really healthy. I was like, okay, maybe I need to actually do this more. Health is wealth. Even if that health is actually just tons of concealer. It's just nice and glowy and evened out, blends in with my natural skin texture. So you you can't really tell what I've got on my face. But yeah, I do just like to fully press that in so there's no brush marks or anything like that. So then I'm gonna go in with that Iconic London Stick. So I just use this to ever so slightly bronze myself up. I don't need much today. I'm gonna to take a little bit there and a little bit there. And again, just tap that in. I used to use this as a contour stick all of the time. And I love it. It also gives you a little bit more coverage, which I don't really need at the moment, but sometimes, especially with masks and stuff, you can obviously get spots 
around your cheek, which aren't fun. So this just adds a bit more coverage without really looking like you've added anything on top. Do that on my cheeks just to give it a little bit of something. So then normally I would go ahead and powder my skin down and then do freckles, but to make it look a little bit more natural, I've been doing it whilst my foundation or concealer is wet. I saw some of you comment, some of you were very upset that I'm still shilling freck. I do honestly love this stuff so much, but what I actually use most days is the misguided pen. Again, this is just so easy. When Ollie's driving, we're going down country lanes in Cornwall, this, it's, it's easy. So I'm just gonna dot some freckles across my nose and then just tap them in. And because the base is still wet underneath, they do just blend out a lot more naturally. So it does kind of just look like you've got freckles, but you've put a little bit of something over the top. So then I'll just tap that back in with my brush. Honestly, I know it's taking a lot longer now because it's a video, but I literally do this full face in like five minutes. So the trick with freckles as well, I get a lot of questions about how I make them look a lot more natural, is you gotta do some that are big and some that are small and some that kind of overlap. You wanna do the odd random one in like a, a random place sometimes. And if you make a mistake, it's fine. Your base is still, you know, haven't set it down so you can just blend it out. I almost do like a, a tap and a wiggle. These are like super non-professional tricks of the trade that I've learned whilst doing my makeup in the car. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my Lottie London loose powder and I take, this is too much. And I basically set all of that down with a big fluffy brush, but I do it so, so lightly. I'm not worried about fully getting every single bit. It's just so my makeup doesn't rub off basically. So I just ever so slightly set it down. I'm gonna take the tiniest little bit for my under eyes, which again, I really don't set down that much. I want everything to kind of move around to make it look a lot more natural. Who, who am I? At this point, who am I? Talking about wanting to look natural. Maybe they're putting something in my iced coffee. Conspiracy theory. Lightly set that down. Obviously with my light, it's still gonna look a lot more shiny on this camera. Glowy, but not oily or shiny. It's just chef's kiss. Then I'm gonna show you guys this step. I don't always do it because like I said, obviously I have already sort of bronzed myself up with that iconic London stick. But I do go in sometimes with a little bit more of my Mac Give Me Sun. This is just depending on whether or not the tan on my face is faded. Just sort of helps me match my face up to my body a bit more. And then also helps to mattify my face down a little bit without being too much. Sometimes I will just use this on its own. Sometimes I'll skip out the iconic London stick. Just kind of depends on what I manage to throw into my handbag when I'm running late. And then just go a little bit over my nose. And then I'll just take that brush that I use for my under eyes because again, when I'm in a rush, I will just chuck any brush that I can sort of find and I'll just use whatever I've got just to blend a little bit of that bronzer or that um, iconic London stick, depending on what I'm using, just onto my lid, literally in the most messiest way. It's not really in my crease, it's just to do something. It just makes me feel better. Then normally I'd of course use my highlighter, but today I'm actually gonna go in with the Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme. And I use a really small amount. Again, I don't want like a full on stripe of highlights down my face. I do. I really want my entire body and everything I own to just be covered in highlighter. But since we're natural today, I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit on my cheeks there. Still looking nice and glowy from not really setting it down too much. But come on, I gotta do a little bit of something. But yeah, this one here is in the shade Sandstone Shimmer. I got this from TK Maxx, it's $3.99. So just a bit of that. If I'm feeling fancy, I might lightly go over my brow bone. And then again, also just like in the messiest way, just all over my face really. Tiny little bit on my cupid's bow. So then for my eyes, I go back in with my brow pencil, whichever one I'm using at the time. So like I said, I really, really like this misguided one. It's the Ohay brow and I've got it in the shade super dark. And then all I like to do with this is just do a little flick. And again, I can do this in the car quite easily. Just like that. Easy. And then sometimes as well, depending on how I want to look that day, I might tight line ever so slightly just on the inner corner there. Just like that. You can see it makes the tiniest little difference there. Just like that. Just gives me a little something. So now before I go ahead and do my lashes, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This stuff works, I am telling you. I was skeptical, I got it because I was buying a foundation. 
and there was an offer on and I'd never tried this before. And I was like, okay, let me just try it. You know, everyone seems to say how amazing it is. And oh boy, this stuff works. It's an instant and long-term lip plumper. I would agree with that. I have literally, you guys know I don't really like glossy lips that much. I have literally used this, wiped off a bit of the excess to apply my lipstick and I've gotten like a rash on my hand where I've wiped it off. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe it's not, but I like it. So whilst I'm waiting for that to work, this is something, so I have like three different types of this makeup that I do. I'll do it super rushed that I can literally do in a couple of minutes and I won't really put any mascara on because my lashes are quite naturally dark anyway. So I sometimes will just sort of leave it like this. Sometimes I will just chuck a little bit of mascara onto my top lashes, but my favorite thing to do that does make it take a couple of minutes more, so this is kind of where it comes into like more of a 10 minute makeup routine is of course, I've been loving the Kiss Falscara. Again, tried that out in the TikTok makeup video and I have been obsessed ever since. So basically you just apply the bond onto your lashes. It's like a, almost like a sticky mascara. Got a tiny little wand. So it just makes your lashes look nice on its own to be honest. I'm usually pretty messy with this. I do usually get it everywhere, just a heads up. So I wanna make sure that I mostly focus on the outer corner because that's where I like to put them. Just making sure they're all nice and separated. So then this is a packet that I've already sort of used half of them off, but this is the Volumizing Wisp. I just tend to use two clusters for my eyes, which is why I don't go through these very, very quickly. Probably get about three uses from every pack. And you can reuse them, you just need to clean them off a little bit. Yeah, you take these and you put them underneath your lashes. And the stuff you put on before basically just makes them stick to your eyelashes. It's literally like, wizardry or something. I've never had lash extensions. I've always liked the idea of them, like something on the outer corner, but obviously doing what I do, I try a lot of mascaras. But this just, I mean, it just, it just that. And then again, I'll just take one more cluster. I usually do two or three, depending on the sort of eye look that I wanna do. And just put that under my lashes. And you can give them a little squish as well if you want to. I give them a tiny little squish just so they're there. It's so good. And then you just go in with the seal, which comes out kind of white, but it does dry clear. Honestly, can you tell how much of a fangirl I am over this stuff? So you just apply that over the top of wherever you put the bond and it just gets rid of all the stickiness and your lashes are just stuck on all day. It's not remotely uncomfortable. You don't really feel like you're wearing lashes or anything like that. But yeah, I found a lot of good stuff from that TikTok video. And you can probably see my lips are getting a little bit more red. So I then just like to go down with my foundation brush again. I might go in with a little bit more concealer. Just like that. Just blot them down. And then again, give myself a little kiss on the back of the hand, just take off any excess. I was gonna do my lips then, but should I just do the Foscara again? Just to show you. Cause it's just so easy. Put that on like a bit of mascara. It's actually a really nice, just general mascara anyway. Even says in the pack that you don't need a lot of this stuff and you really don't. This side I find oh, is this slightly more difficult just because I am right-handed. So make sure that one's in place, done. I mean, I always go on about how bad I am at putting on false lashes. This is, I can do this. Even if you just get them slightly in the right place, you can just squish them down. Oh, just how is that so easy? And then yeah, for my lips, just blot it all down. And I'll usually just go in with some kind of slightly pinky nude lip liner. I've really been liking, hopefully you can still get it, the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Girl Next Door. If not, they will do something very, very similar. And then I just really naturally line my lips with that. I just sort of scribble in my lips with that. And then just neaten it up on the outer part. And I just tap it down again, just so it doesn't really look like makeup. And that's kind of it. I love it, I, th I honestly it feels so good when I wear this makeup. And yeah, that's kind of it. Like I said, this is so easy when I'm not like, you know, talking to a camera. Probably takes me like five to 10 minutes, depending on if I'm doing the lashes or whatever. I think this is probably my favorite sort of naturally everyday makeup look that I've done in maybe ever. Like I'm really, really liking just all of this. I like my face, can I say that? I'm gonna say it. I like my face when it looks like this. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be proud of me for using slightly different products than normal. But yeah, let me know what you think of this makeup look. I know a lot of you have been asking how I do it. And I mean, you saw it, it's all pretty easy. As always, all the products that I've used in this video will be linked down below alongside the UFO 2 and then also the Luna 3. But yeah, 
Really, really like this makeup look. The glowy skin, the big eyebrows, the lashes, the little flick, the freckles. Just a big fan. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.